Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to what I think is actually my fourth morning rumble. I think I said the third morning rumble was my fourth morning rumble. I'm going to totally lose count of these as I go. It is Tuesday morning. It is my last morning here in Singapore. Uh, I somehow time travel this evening, and I leave here at 8.30 on a Tuesday night and will arrive in LA at 7.55 p.m. on Tuesday night. I know it's not really time travel, but it feels like time travel. And what I wanted to ramble about this morning a little bit is discouragement. I think we underestimate the impact of discouragement on our creative endeavors. And I think we underestimate how easy it is to move beyond it as well. So I, I, I don't know about you, but I definitely can stack things. I, I, I start to think, oh, and then this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened. And suddenly there's a weight of thinking on my shoulders that feels like the weight of the world. And it feels like to, to get up the energy to take something else on, like especially something that doesn't have to happen. And that's the thing about most creative endeavors. They don't have to happen. We just kind of like it when they happen. You know, we, we think it would be cool. We'd like to write, we'd like to paint, we'd like to build our business, we'd like to change the world. But we're really busy and <laughs> we're really tired. And, and, and we don't, we think of that as practical or we think of that as exhaustion. And we don't see that at the core of that tiredness is a kind of a disheartening. And that's what discouragement literally means from the French word cur for heart, an encouragement to give heart, discouragement to take heart away. When we lose heart, we, we, we lose that very life energy that fuels us, that very creative force that animates us and that, that inspires us to go forth and do cool shit in the world. And the reason that I say that discouragement is a little bit easier to overcome than we think is because discouragement, by definition, is made of thought. And the specific kind of thought it's made of, so it's made of thought, not reality. It's not made of your circumstances. It's made of your dark imaginings. And, and the particular dark imaginings that discourages us is we imagine tomorrow will be a continuation of the worst of yesterday. We imagine tomorrow will be a continuation of the worst of our thinking today. So we think about tomorrow today, see if we can track this, and, and, and because we're feeling low, because we've stacked all these bad things, we assume today is, is a, a precursor to tomorrow. Today is an indicator of how tomorrow will be. Today is a sneak preview of tomorrow, and that the way we think about tomorrow is accurate. But the way we think about tomorrow is today. And if you let today, and more particularly today's thinking, create tomorrow, you'll often get discouraged. Or you'll get really excited, and then you'll get discouraged when it doesn't turn out the way you thought it would. So what if we didn't let today's thinking create tomorrow? What if we didn't let yesterday's thinking create today? What if every moment was an opportunity for fresh thought? What if each day really could be as good as new? We really could start from scratch. We don't have to keep thinking what we thought yesterday. We don't have to believe our dark imaginings about a future that looks dark, because that's the way we're imagining it. I, I remember years ago reading a, a Dale Carnegie book, and if you haven't come across Dale Carnegie, he's, he, he's sort of a, in some ways, he's become like a, a joke of an old school style of, of, of self-development and betterment, you know, how to win friends and influence people. But he wrote a book that I remember was really helpful to me when I was a teenager. And it was how to stop worrying and start living. And the thing I remember from that book was one idea. 
Live each day in daytight compartments. Don't let yesterday seep in today. Don't let today seep into tomorrow. Let each day be created fresh in your thinking. And if you do, you'll find yourself less discouraged. You'll find yourself less inclined to give up before you begin. You'll find yourself getting filled up with that, that life energy, that creative energy that is only available to us right here, right now. And right here, right now is the moment of creation. So live each day in daytight compartments. Don't let today's thinking create tomorrow. Don't let yesterday's thinking create today. Have fun, learn heaps, and I'll talk with you soon.